Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is on how to fix all your Superior Drummer issues. Um, first off, if you're trying to fix issues and you have a cracked version, just turn back now because you're probably going to keep having issues. That's what happens when you have cracked versions. Anyway, um, the first thing that we're going to do um, for the people who are still with us and have their own CD key and bought it legit and everything like I have, um, we're going to go ahead and go into your first disk, installation disk 1, and we're going to go and find these files here. I'm on a 64-bit system. If you're on a 32-bit system, you probably won't even be having these problems, so I don't know why you're watching it. But if you do, this is how I fixed it in 64-bit, and maybe it'll work for 32-bit. Anyway, so 64-bit system users, they're going to go over here, click Superior Drummer, um, double-click it, yada, yada, yada. It's going to go through, and it's going to install like basically as quickly as that was right there. Um, it's, it's actually very fast, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your system. Um, and anyway, so that's going to install. It doesn't really do anything, which is where the problem starts. But what it is going to do is going to give you this tune track folder under your x86 program files. And you'll have your, your files there kind of at the ready waiting to be installed um, or be used. Anyway, after that, don't let that Superior Drummer 64-bit um, installation run the sound installer. Just close it out. Um, if you already have it kind of running, cancel it, do it again. And then you're going to go down here to your first disk. You're going to right-click this. I don't know why my, right, my, my right click is slow on this. But anyway, here it goes. Okay, run it and as administrator, because that just prevents problems in the first place. So it's going to run an administrator, and then it's going to let you install everything nice and neat. The problem everyone has, though, is that under the sound installer, even though it's in the correct path, it's going to be it's going to direct you. Okay, let's let's just pretend. Okay, because I don't want to overwrite anything and screw mine up. So what you see, even though this is in the right section here, select whatever you want here, full installation, all tools. Even though this part is in the correct um, directory, this is what I'm, I'm trying to emphasize here. This is the problem right here. You have to click browse no matter what. Go back through here. Find that folder that that little installation did. Tune track. Boom. Superior. Superior drummer. Click that hit OK. It's going to give you the same path except you're going to notice that it's kind of extended path here. That's fine. I mean that's what you need to do. After you do that it'll install and it'll have no problems. This is exactly what you have to do with all your your add-ons like the Metal Foundry, all that. You have to specify that location. Even though it says it's in the right location you have to set it yourself or else it's not going to work. That's where all the sound problems happen. Anyway, now that we got that issue out of the way um, after that's done installing, let that kind of do its thing. Possibly restart your computer if it asks you to. If not, it's fine. Go over here and install the TuneTrack Solo 64-bit installer. That is going to basically be what you need to do to finish installing everything. I know a lot of people don't want maybe the Solo application, but you have to so it registers and everything. So um, Anyway, you're going to load TuneTrack Solo. Boom. Um, yeah, and then your drummer will load. Basically, say you load a project. So let's, let's open a new project. No. Superior Drummer. Okay, boom. Loads. When this thing loads, it's going to give you a prompt to um, put in your serial key. And that's what you got to do. You, you put your serial key, let it register, authorize, go make an account, register, authorize, blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. Okay. And now, everything should be working nice and neat. It's uh, beautiful. And when I did the Metal Foundry, you have to do the same exact thing. It'll do the same thing um, as far as this installation, but you have to tell it where it's going to go. Even though it says it's in the right area, you have to direct it to that same path or else it's not going to work. That's where the error is. So anyway, after that's done, I try to go into Cubase and load the VST, and it wasn't there. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? And this is the other problem that everyone's having is a VST issue. So... Uh, my fix was you have to. Oops, I hope this doesn't kill my audio. It probably will. Close. Don't kill my audio. All right, we're here. Okay. Anyway, sorry about the hiccup. I forgot that Cubase was set to a different driver, so it killed off my mic for Camtasia. Anyway, when you load um, Cubase, this is a problem that everyone's going to be having. You're going to go over to Devices, and then you're going to go to Plugin Information. And you're going to notice that it's not here. And since you've only installed the 64-bit version, you're going to go to update plug information, update, update, update. And you're going to be like, where the hell is my dang DLL? So you're going to go over here. You're going to search for it. You know, superior drummer, blah, 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 blah that DLL, and it's not going to be there. And this is where the second problem lies. Um, what you have to do 
and you have to do this, which kind of sucks, it's kind of weird, is you have to go back and then after you're done installing everything and everything's cleanly installed, you have to go to Superior Drummer Installer, 32-bit, you're going to hit next, I can't, oh, it's already installed so I can't show you, but it's going to pop up a window where it's going to show you Superior Drummer something, plugin something, and then it's going to show you the VST plugins. That's when it'll install that section and then you'll have, your, um, when you go through the 32-bit installation, it's going to install everything else that you need and it's going to install this folder here. So it's going to be under C, Program Files, um, no, that's the D16 group that came with the Cubase thing. It's going to go, it's actually going to under, un, install it under where it needs to be under the x86 and it's going to install it under the VST plugins and TuneTrack. And then you're going to have your, your DLL file finally. After that, you go into Cubase 7, you're going to go to your plugin information. Oh, do I already have it open? Yes, I did. Okay. So then you're going to go over here, VS 2.0 plugin paths, and you're going to add it. I already tried to add a VST plugins, but that just installed the D16 plugin that came with the program when I bought it. But anyway, you're going to click add. You're going to go over here, program files, go back to your VST folder, boom. Just click that, hit add, hit OK. And then what you could do is go down here, look for a tune track in, in Steinberg, update it. It's going to ask for the VST bridge, allow it. And then boom, it's in there. You got Superior Drummer finally. You can update your plugin information. It's all there. So now when you do this, you'll actually be able to load your Superior Drummer plugin right here. And you can add the track. So now you have everything, even the Metal Foundry. And then when you go over here to to run a MIDI, where's the pencil? This one. Basically load that. Double click this and you got your... Yeah, and then you can map it however you want. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. That'll finally solve the issue. You can run your VSTs in Cubase, and that should be it. I guess that's all I need to go over. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any other issues with Superior Drummer and um, getting it into Cubase or into any other program, even this one here, um, Reason 7, is uh, it's not that hard at all. Let me know if you guys want that video and give me a like, thumbs up, whatever you guys feel you guys want to do and post in the comments. And uh, I guess that's it. So, oh, I got a text. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope this fixed your issues. Um, have a good one.